Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. Welcome to Life Today TV. I have an impressionist with me, Louise Duarte. Now, you may have seen her on HBO. You may have seen her on Showtime. If you're as old as I am, you may have seen her on Hollywood Squares. But one of the great talents, Louise, is good to oh, have you. Thank you. I feel very Joan Riverish today. Uh, oh, right. yes, 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 yes. You speak about Hollywood Squares. You know, I used to actually be in Hollywood Squares with Joan a lot. Yeah. And a lot of times I was like above her. So, you know, I would always throw a wig on and do a Joan and Rivers just know, impression. Just throw people off. Yeah, she was a lot of fun. She was great. And very gracious. Very gracious. You know, Joan Rivers really was, a lot of people don't know this, but she started so many other young women in stand up comedy. She really broke the doors open for all of us. I've heard that because, you know, she, she had a. a a meanness to her humor all yeah, the time? Yeah, it was biting. Biting, a yes. caustic, we'll say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I, the people that know her talk about, like Gracious. what you say, such a great person. Gracious, warm, a sweetness about her. I mean, that was a persona, really, when she was on stage. But backstage, you know, she was very insecure. Mm -hmm. That's typical of comedians. It is typical of comedians. Mm -hmm. But when she first started out... And until actually, I heard even later on in her life, when she would do some of the casinos that she'd be working at, she would empty out her dressing room every night because from the early days when she was doing some of the clubs, they would basically wouldn't want her back the next day. So she wanted to, and they'd lock up the dressing room. She couldn't get her stuff. So she had a habit of taking everything out of there. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, as mean as the, the business of comedy can be, you can kind of understand that. It, oh, yeah. It can be cutthroat. It's a tough business. How did you get into what you do? Well, it is a tough, I, you know, we talk about stand-up is tough, but I, I actually started in television, and, um, but I, I wasn't doing impressions early on, but I always had a knack to do impressions. Like when I was a kid, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but I used to get my friends out of school by impersonating their mothers, you know, Bernie can't come to school today. <laughs> He's got menopause. Because then, <laughs> then I got busted. But, but then what, as, I, as I got older, I, you know, I started watching The Carol Burnett Show. And my dream was to be just like Carol Burnett. And when other girls were you know, hanging out with each other or playing with dolls or whatever, I was in my room pretending to do sketches with the great Tim Conway and Harvey Corman. And this is how God answers prayers, because I, used to, I was brought up Catholic. My mother's very Italian Catholic. Riccarello is her maiden name. She would take me to the Catholic church, and her thick Boston accent, she'd say to me, here, Louise, here's a quarter. Light a candle for the souls in purgatory. And I'd light that candle, and I'd pray, and I'd always say the same thing. Please, God, I just want to meet Carol Burnett. I just want to meet Carol Burnett. Well, God heard my prayer, because years later, I go to Los Angeles, and I get a television show. It's a variety show called Off the Wall, and I was doing all sorts of characters. So they said, hey, listen, would you like to do a Carol Burnett impression? We have an actual Bob Mackie gown, a little red wig, put it on, and, and she, you know, she used to ask questions of the audience, and yeah. I started doing my little impression of Carol Burnett. Pull in the ear. <laughs> yeah, right. And unbeknownst to me, Carol was watching the show that night. Oh, no. The next day at my house in Woodland Hills, California, the phone rings. I pick it up, and I hear, Hi, Louise. This is Carol Burnett. Listen, I just saw you do an impression of me, and I thought it was a hoot. And then she said she wanted to meet me. Oh. Now, here's the little girl's prayer, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm driving, on the, she was at the Disney Studios, then I'm driving to the studios. I can't believe God's doing this. I'm so excited. I meet Carol. I spend the day with her. It was the greatest day of my life. When I left her, I looked up to heaven. I said, oh, God, if I could just meet Tim and Harvey now. <laughs> <laughs> and you did. And I did, because years later, mm -hmm. years later, another God wink happened. Tim Conway called me and asked if I wanted to do a show with him and Harvey Corman. Did that show with them for 12 years. Then we lost Harvey, died. Then Tim and I continued to do the show, a total of 15 years. Phenomenal. And you know, I, I, the most, um, the striking thing about what you just told me, these are people you wanted to meet. You yeah. didn't have to ask to meet either one of them. That's right. They asked to meet 
you. Yes. What's the significance of that, you think? Well, see, that's the power of prayer. And I do believe that God, when we're born, gives us, puts the desires in our hearts. And believe me, I was one of those, I know it doesn't sound like, but I was a shy kid. I mean, truly shy kid. But God always put that desire in my heart to want to entertain people. And, you know, I was so shy. It's like, God, this will never happen. But see, through the grace of God, God can do all things. And what he did is he divinely aligned me to go to Los Angeles, to be able to be on this show, and then to do an impression of Carol. Carol just happened to be watching TV that night, called me up, and how I got the, um, the job with Tim and Harvey, I have no idea how this happened, but people were, Tim and Harvey were gonna do a show together and the word went out. So every comedian oh, yeah. and comic in the of business course. was sending their, those times, tapes, VHS tapes. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. This is what Tim tells me. The first tape that was on this big pile on his desk said Louise Duarte. He put it in his VCR. He looked at a couple of minutes, called his wife Charlene and said, what do you think of this girl? And she says, yeah, she's good. Hired me. Oh, Didn't wow. look at another tape. Hundreds of tapes. Happen God put it right there. God's divine alignment is amazing. If people only knew, you know, the word says, and all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your steps. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and that's interesting because you don't just entertain. You, you, as Michael Jr. says, you lead with your gift mm. and that opens the door to, mm. to really touch people's Michael lives. Michael Jr. is great. He's funny. Oh my gosh, he's yeah. so funny. Yeah. So who else do you like to impersonate? Well, let's see. Judge Judy. Oh, no. Do you see stupid on my forehead here? <laughs> She's the only judge in history who sent a Jay Walker to the electric chair. <laughs> I love to. I love doing George Burns. I, that's, that, 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 that's one of the things I love to do. Well, that made it different when I did stand up than I did men in my act. I love doing the men in my act. Do you really? <laughs> I do. That's funny. Yeah, and I would dress up. And when I did some HBO or Showtime specials, I had a great makeup artist, Cheryl Patak, brilliant. And she made me up as George Burns and Woody Allen. And oh. even Woody Allen, I even had a little hair on my chest from Woody <laughs> and all this. Was, I screamed. She was, she was brilliant. But, and, well, Catherine Hepburn was always one of my favorites. Yeah. I yep. do. I do love Cher is always like fabuloso. You know, we just <laughs> absolutely love Cher. Oh, and Fran Drescher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, gosh. Popeye. Well, blows me down. It's good. Good, good, good <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so you you talk about Godwinks, and the website is when God when Godwinks. WhenGodWinks.com. WhenGodWinks.com. Yes. Yes. Cool. Check her out when she's on uh, Life Today as well. You can see her, and you'll meet her fabulous hus husband, Squire Rushnell. Louise Duarte and Squire Rushnell on Life Today. That's at lifetoday.org.